Oh, oh it says we're live. We are live. Eventually, it did the whole something's not working and we couldn't go live. And we're in their life anyway. So, drama over. We are now here. Hopefully, everybody will be able to see that we're on a different um, stream and it's just going into the group. So, like, Kate, do you want to just check that it's definitely going in there so that we know? It's on my page. Uh, it is on your page, did you say? Yeah. I can see it on my page and I'm just going to try and share it. Where shall I share it? To our, um, it's in the group, it's just not on our page, I think. Okay, I'll, I'll share it to a few places, don't worry. You you introduce the ladies. So we've got some special guests tonight with our, our latest sponsors and that is Natasha and Becca from Daydream Apothecary Paint. So it's pretty new into the UK, although already known um so tell us a little bit about how this paint brand come come together oh boy. well i <laughs> i think it's so great that you didn't butcher apothecary first <laughs> what, Thank you. what like me yesterday <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people. It, to do. I'm just gonna call it daydream paint. I'm not. Call, I'm. I'm forgetting the other word. I. <laughs> that's perfectly fine. <laughs> you, you do spell it differently to us, though. So when I wrote it down, I thought, oh god, is it? So you do spell it differently. Oh really? Yeah. So they they do e cap e. Oh, so K, right? Don't you use a K? No, we, we use a C, but you put e carry, and we put apothecary oh, really? a carry. So we use the A instead of an E. Mm. Oh. Really? Interesting. Well, that's what that I was is interesting. <laughs> yeah, we probably uh, just spelled. So how we we came, how yeah. Daydream came to be, uh, Becca and I actually met at a an, an, at a retreat. Where to? Oh. And um, uh, we were talking, and it was after that, and I I just had said very casually on the phone, "Have you ever thought thought of starting your own paint line?" And she said. Yeah, but da, 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 da. and I said, do you just want to research it and see where it takes us? And she said, sure. And then a month later, we had our LLC. Wow, a month oh. later. Normally, people we, we talk about this stuff forever, don't we? Before we do anything, you know. So, well, you cool. haven't met Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, like she, I was like, yeah, sure, okay, whatever, and. Next thing I know, she's like, so I found a manufacturer and da, da, da. I was like, oh, crap, this is happening. <laughs> That's the way we like to do it. That sounds a bit like our story with Sarah. Oh, oh Sarah, I, I think I want to have a, con I want to hold a conference, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I was like, well, I know a conference center. And before we knew it, Sarah's idea had come to fruition. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's funny. Sometimes you just got to go with it, haven't you? So tell us why your paint brand is different than other paint brands, because it is different. And um, that's what I think is really exciting about it. Well, originally when we, when Daydream came to life, we, Becca and I just wanted to do a custom color line, like um, where we had the actual Machine. spectrometer. Is it the spectrometer? I think that's what it was called. Yeah, sounds and right. And we tinted our own colors and just made custom colors and sold them online. Oh. And I don't know how we came up with the artist. It, we were talking, it just kept evolving and evolving. And it, just on a wing and a prayer, I called Anissa and I said, you know, would you like to do this paint line with us? We want you to curate colors. And she said, as long as they're neons, I'm on board. Oh, so neons were the first. Neons were the first. Mm, that's why I, um, that's, that was my first, what, you know, piqued my interest was the neons because nobody can do neons. Well, it was interesting because in our formula, well, we wanted, we, I mean, Becca and I went back and forth and we tested our formula and what we, we give the artists so much autonomy with their colors. Like once we talked to the manufacturer and we had the formula done, Anissa tested the the neons. We didn't even get the paint. We just had it sent to her for her approval. Wow. Oh. And so when she was like, "This is what I want," um, we were like, "Awesome, <laughs> okay." And then <laughs> Becca and I got them. And full disclosure, 
we were like, um, this doesn't feel anything like the formula that we have just been wow. making for the past six months. Really? <laughs> Why? And, uh, because the base is different. The base is different. The base yeah, is, so the base is different. There's four different bases. So they they had to put it in in a translucent base, and yeah. um, it so it took us a while to master it. I mean, we kept talking to Anissa about you know trying to change the base, but with a translucent neon pigment, if you change the base, you're going to end up with play doh colors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I totally understand that. It's something that people find really hard to get their head around. They yeah. just, they just, if they use the neons first, they might just go, oh, this is terrible. Mm -hmm. This doesn't work. But they don't understand that to, to get that brightness, it has yeah, to be. You have to have, that it, ha it has to, neons reflect light. So anything around them or behind them is what they're going to reflect. That's why when, that's why we came up with the ground control with a pure white so that it would reflect the pureness of the color um without changing the tone yeah and so you and do you have to i'm, I'm learning here myself <laughs> i only got my stock yesterday so do you have to use your your ground control or can you use any not any white paint but you know is it, it always has to go on a white surface i think you can use any white paint that you have on i mean it might change it just slightly Ground control is just the pigment that we have in it is 100% titanium dioxide. Yeah. So it's the purest natural white pigment that's out there. Yeah, um, right. So it doesn't pull gray or it doesn't pull blue. It doesn't pull, it's not going to pull any other color in. Um, yeah. And that's why we had it that way. Because also if you're going to mix with the neons and when you're going to change the value of the color, we wanted it to be, pure within changing the value yeah okay yeah and so you can take ground control and mix it with the neons and make the most gorgeous pastels with oh. it and Ooh. then it's and then it's the real formula that we have also um i feel like well the neons are an awesome highlighter so like say you paint with any brand of a red and then use mom's night out on top of that it just makes it glow so it doesn't necessarily look neon but it reflects that whatever that color is the same neon just really really brings it to life and gives it a whole new look wow because you're not against people layering and mixing this with other paints are you you're not being you're not saying that they should never do that oh i think they should yeah <laughs> yeah play with it have fun yeah, yeah the really. most of the content artists do i mean charlie does that a lot um, Tangle with Sue, if you follow Tangle with Sue, I, I mean, she uses a, a blower, a, a leaf blower to spread paint. So she's always blower. pushing the limits. Mm -hmm. Not a hairdryer, a leaf blower. Like a, a leaf blower. Are we going to try that when we're in Florida? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Our insurance isn't, well, we don't have enough insurance. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> So, um, and then the black, which, so who's the David Bowie fan? Ground Control and Major Tom. Who's the David Bowie fan here? Natasha. I mean, I, I like him too, but she's more of a diehard. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. So um, Major Tom is the black, and that's just because you've got to have black in the range. It's not something that you've got to use specially in a special way or anything. Well, you know, <laughs> the neons with black and get very, very deep, deep, like a deep plum or a deep, deep navy. And it's also a good mixer. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why we came out with the white and black, I mean, the white for the reasons we just talked about, but the black, because um, we're only coming out with six colors with the curating artists every couple months. So we're not starting with a full range. And so yes. we wanted to be able to give people the opportunity to make colors. That, right. that they might need while they're painting by adding the black and the white. And that was really the idea behind it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was a great idea. So how many ranges have you got now? We have Three. Neons we have by Anissa, um, Coastal by Worn to Whimsy, and Botanical by Chloe Kempster. Yeah. Yay, Chloe. Waving the UK flag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I oh, know. I'm looking forward to seeing Chloe. I haven't seen her for a good few years. So, um, yeah, that's going to be fun. She's terrified of meeting me and Sarah in case what, what we might sign her up to do. 
<laughs> she's lovely. I, I mean, she was another one where Llewellyn Crest of from Warren to Whimsy is one of my closest friends. So I I knew we had that one in the bag. Um, but love it. Uh, Chloe was another kind of a wing in a prayer where we had sent her the paint to use. I saw what she was doing with it, and I've always been a huge fan. Uh, I used to be a, an Annie Sloan stockist years and years ago. Oh. So, um, so I followed Chloe's journey and, and she's always inspired me. So it was another one of those things on Instagram where she'd gotten the colors, she was using them. And, and I reached out to her and just said, Hey, <laughs> and yeah. she, she was, she was open to it. And, and it was yeah. actually remarkably easy and it went, uh, without a hitch. It, it, She's, yeah, she created the. I, I love Chloe's range. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's I, funny I, because, uh, because your, I love your on. marketing idea because there can't there couldn't be I don't think a bigger compliment to any artist than a paint brand coming along and going we love your stuff, and actually we love it so much we'd like you to choose a range of. I mean, it's the ultimate. Um, it's the ultimate compliment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I knew, I knew when I saw Chloe had that coral. I remember because she bought coral from Fusion, but from me <laughs> a good few years ago, and I and I knew that that's one of her colours. It was quite funny. So yeah, I love, lovely to lovely to see. And I saw her piece. She did. Sorry, just like just wanted to say. So I saw the piece that she created for House of Upcycling, Clark and Well. Um, week like an, it's a design week and she painted this mid-century modern piece chest drawers in the neons which and in her painterly style which totally shouldn't work on a piece of furniture like that yeah. and it was the piece of the of the event if you ask me and the finish was just so soft and it was beautiful and it literally glowed it li literally glowed it was amazing Becca, I don't know if you photos. saw this. I fall. I I watched the journey while you guys were doing this. Was it last weekend? It was yeah, last last week, Monday, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, last week. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Becca, they had she did like a, a, a mid-century modern kind of. I guess it was like a tall boy mid-century modern piece. But it, yeah, she did that. But it they had it. Was there a black light in the in the club? It was it was held in it's it's a really weird part of London, like a very trendy interior design area of London. Ugh. So it's all held in different different spots. Some of it was down in some um prison cells and all different spots. And it's where all the interior design studios in London are. So it's like really oh, cool. Gosh. And this was in a nightclub. We were in a nightclub which was like a black hole. It was you came out to get your lunch and you were like, oh, you know. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the picture. And wow. like it, 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 there were spotlights and things, but it just was on fire. It was just so cool. So cool. So yeah, it was good. Really good. Yeah, I, it, it, that was, we didn't even know that the neons glowed in the dark until the, the Great Gardens, it, Great Gardens design figured it out and showed us. And we were like, oh, okay. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Well, I can assure you, they definitely do. They definitely do. Awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. So cool. But that's what we love. That's what I really like about the brand is that the way that you're working with artists, it's um, it's unique, very unique um, and very clever as well, I think. I think and it's, it's just really lovely seeing the artists getting a bit, not recognition, it's not the right word, but the collaboration, it's really lovely yeah. to see. Mm. Yeah. I we we kind of decided Becca and I that we didn't really want it to be about us like um we 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 wanted to stay behind the scenes a little bit you know, first of all starting this and the evolution of it has been such a journey we could have never have predicted uh the time and energy that goes into this you know <laughs> it's it's uh a lot it's intense <laughs> Oh, I can imagine, can well imagine. We all think these things are easy, and then when, before we, when we realize they're too hard, it's too late, you're in. <laughs> it's probably a good you, thing we're naive, right? <laughs> <laughs> all of Very um, naive. But it was, it, you know, Beckett and I both, I think, have a love affair with painted furniture, our own, you know, reasons, whether it's mental health or, you know, but there's something very magical about, women that are able to 
earn extra money at a gig that they get I to love. be creative at and it's therapeutic and it's a form of self-love in my opinion and you're and you're upcycling you're you're saving there's so many beautiful things about it yeah yeah um that it, it's it's personal to us so we had you know it's interesting we've had a lot of people ask us well why did you start a paint company when there's so many other paint companies out there yeah true and, and uh it, it was like without sound, sounding cocky it was just well because we wanted to like why why the hell not yeah <laughs> you know um, it, that's just like saying why why would you bother paint starting painting furniture business there's hundred thousands of us well there's room for everybody there there is you know that's really what it's about for us sarah is um i moved to i sold my business six years ago when i moved to florida and I took a couple of years off from painting. And when I got back into it, I had, I got back online because when I sold my business, I sold all my social media. And um, when I got back online, I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? I mean, all these companies, these huge names I've never even heard of before. And I was like, oh, okay. But one thing I really noticed was that it felt very divisive. Um, I so the Fusion people were with Fusion. The DIY people were with DIY. The Annie Sloan people were with Annie Sloan. And, 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 and every time I would go back and Becca and I, you know, Becca sells Fusion. Um, she sold different paint lines. Um, and I was like, you know, it all seemed very staunch and that people were like, I use this. It's the best paint on earth. And I'm an artist. And I even know when I was carrying Annie Sloan, I was using other things, too, because I liked them. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, why can't we just come out and say, um, as artists, nobody's going to wants to use just one thing. We want to explore. We want to be adventurous. We want to try new things. So mm -hmm. we were like, can we create a community with this paint line that actually uplifts other paint lines in conjunction, if it's even possible. We don't know, we're still trying to figure it out. But um, like, hey, come on our page, Charlie Massey, Girl in Blue Designs. She uses Annie Sloan a lot, like um, use it. If you're, that's what you're really using and you're using Daydream, use them both on the live because we want it to be authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there should I, I be room it... for everyone. They're all a little bit different. I mean, pain is pain is pain. I understand that to a certain degree, but they all have really, wonderful products that are different and good qualities and, and so that's what that's what we think yeah, yeah no I, I like um that's one of the things that i liked about Fusion actually was the fact that you were never restricted to stocking other paint brands um and i don't think any um it, these are our businesses that we're talking about we shouldn't be um have another business controlling our business you know so yeah, I think it's great that, and I, I like the way that you're actually saying mix it with other paints as well as or, or on top or whatever. You know, it's great, really great. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that the the idea of that is amazing, and I think it will it will as long as that's continued and, and grown, that will be a massively positive Tony, I'm um, thing. You know, where like you said, sometimes it can be divisive, and there are lots of you know. Um, I don't know, there's lots of, you know, brands that have beef with each other, which has got nothing to do with the customer or nothing to do with the artist. You know, so I think, um, I think it's, a, it's an amazing thing trying to get together. That was essentially what we were trying to do with the, um, with our event, trying to just get everybody in the same room with something that they don't normally do. You know, they, this brand would have their retreat or conference and this brand would have theirs. And, you know, if you think about any other industry, you have, um, you know, Absolutely. industry events where everybody comes together and sells under the same roof. And, you know, and I just thought, wouldn't that be great? Try to everybody in the same room, you know, so, oh, yeah. so I'm, I'm with you on that. More of a collaboration, because, I mean, like our paint is nothing like an all-in-one paint, <laughs> you know. So, you know, all-in-ones are great for certain things. Our paint isn't going to do that. You know, so I guess we're kind of like, well, yes, use them both. Like, let's talk about how good both of them are, like, or all of them. You, it, I don't know. It just, the, the competition aspect was something Becca and I were like, we're not even, we're not getting in the rat race. We'll yeah, just, yeah. 
we'll float on our what did we say we'll float on our donut wrap and just kind of chill no we'll while stay in our own lane <laughs> yeah no <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I love that. I absolutely love so, that. You, if, if nobody, if nobody's tried your paint before, how would you explain what sort of paint it is? What sort of things you can do with it? So, so go ahead, Beck. So it's it's definitely like you know a, a typical chalk paint. I think what me and Natasha really loved about it is that it does take a little bit longer to dry than typical um, chalk paint. So you get more time to blend. Um, and it, it, it reconstitutes with water beautifully. Uh, it's got a velvety, beautiful finish. It covers well, ah. the colors are vibrant. Uh, yeah, we just really love the, the way that we can manipulate it. Um, and and so the clay yeah. element, what does what does what, what does the clay the clay do? What the clay paint do that's different to chalk? So the clay helps it to reconstitute. So really, when we were coming up with the formula with mm. our manufacturer, we said, you know, I, I mean, we have Becca and I really like DIY paint, and we really like Annie Sloan paint, and so we kind of wanted a mixture of the two. Right. You know, um, I, we wanted self leveling for it to stick to anything without prepping or priming. So right. clean a piece, fine. I mean, we, they didn't have salt. Um, what's it? Salt wash. Is that what it's called? Salt wash. Yeah. Salt wash. So the the additive. It's really cool. Yeah. Salt when wash. I when I started painting, they didn't have that. So we used to take um, sawdust. Mm -hmm. and yeah. to create texture yeah and um it stuck fine with the Annie Sloan paint so the the purpose was we don't want you to have to prep or prime it will stick to it you could add stuff in it it will still stick to it without a primer or an adhesion additive um and we want the ability for it to reconstitute so if we paint it today blue and then we come back tomorrow and we paint yellow we want it to turn green. Yeah, it's amazing. That's what I was messing around with. It's amazing. And, and also, it. it's it's a self leveling, so you don't get the brush marks and stuff. It's very very smooth, which um, I like that. What's your um, suggestion for top coats for it, or do, or do you top coat it? Yes, you do need to top coat it um, because of the reconstitution. If someone was to put a glass of water on it it's going to you know reactivate so you do need to use a wax we currently don't have a wax but we do have a really awesome top coat called dream coat and it's a matte finish um everyone loves it it's it's really like probably the best top coat i've ever used because I'm, I'm actually more of a wax girl um so our, i feel like our top coat is kind of almost like a liquid wax it's very uh, easy to use does it do what the DIY paints do, you know, when they're when they're top coated that they go a really deeper color? No? No. It do that. It's the same. So how okay. you paint it on is pretty much what it's gonna look like when it dries. Okay. Oh, which which we like that. We like Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Because whilst you're working on it, that's what you're achieving. You you, you don't need to be thinking of what the next color, how it's right. gonna change at the end. I, I yeah, it's hard to get your head around it because it doesn't always come out when you wax something I used to cry mm -hmm. sometimes of Annie Sloan when you went to wax it <laughs> it would be all different and it would ruin it sometimes yeah. <laughs> you know so and yeah. then on the flip side sometimes you'd be like wow it's even better <laughs> yes yes but I don't like that unpredictability mm -hmm. I think I need to loosen up <laughs> so how long has your paint brand been running uh, we had it uh, it launched in July of 21. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's that pretty cool. So, uh, so we're, we are absolutely, I'm, I still haven't tried it. I've been um, chatting Kate up today to send me some so that I can try it before we get there. Because um, um, uh, how many stockers have we got in the UK of your brand? Three? Well, we have a uh, distributor in Germany who distributes uh, all of Europe and the UK. And um, so I think, well, I know we're in 12 countries right now. 
Wow. In a year. In a year. I mean, it's, I mean, we were trying to figure it out because we really wanted to, um, we wanted it to be like an even playing field. We decided that we weren't going to do um, links because we didn't want links to conflict with our stockists. And, you know, we decided to pay the artists um, per can um, instead of having a link or the ability to sell it so that they weren't competing with our stockists. So we tried to create like this uh, playground where it was just completely fair for everyone and we've had to make, you know, it's had to evolve because we're we're new in business and we clearly don't know everything. <laughs> um, we're just trying it on for size and seeing how it works. We know like yeah. our ethos, how we want it to be. Um, it doesn't always end up like that, but um, but we're trying. We're just trying everything out. We're really happy with. We have sixty four stockists now, so we're happy. Um, I don't think we, neither one of us, thought it was going to to get quite this big so quickly. Um, but when you add artists in that are amazing, I, I mean, I, that's the draw is, is them and, and what they're capable of doing. So, you know, having them be celebrated, I think is, is, is the best part. And then being able to do that with them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's great for both sides, I think. It's a fantastic marketing for you, but it's also a massive compliment to them. And it brings their followers, you know, to be able to go buy the brand that they love. And, you know, it's, I think it's an, amazing, it's, ama it's an amazing concept. And I think you might find that other people may, you know, take it on board. May, <laughs> may borrow our idea. I think they should. It, it's been, it's done really well for us. Yeah. I, I mean, and there's and plenty of artists you know, out there. Yeah, there's so many artists out there. And it wasn't about, for us, you know, um, people with huge followings. Like, of course, that helps. And, and if they happen to have a huge following and we have an enormous amount of respect for them and what they do, then, of course, we're trying to talk to them or, you know, collaborate with them. But it was more so about um their art <laughs> it, yeah. it was about who i mean we have our lineup now for the next four or five lines wow really so no 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 exclusives then for us <laughs> <laughs> i nearly i nearly let the cat out the bag yesterday but i only know about one it's the next line we'll be releasing the beginning of July and um July I thought it was June oh, so, so we'll, the we'll, end of June the beginning of July we have to say that because I think you know I was listening to Michelle I watched Michelle's uh, live with you guys and when she was talking about you know shipping with us it's like manufacturing and raw materials so anytime we put in an order and we have our, like, we don't drop ship from our manufacturer. We have our own distribution facility in Kansas that we ship everything out of. Um, and it's always something. I mean, it's, 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 I, I'm back at, it, it's the bane of my existence. Um, but it's always something. It's, it, you know, whether it's a raw material, this, and you just kind of have to roll with the punches. Yeah. I, the first two lines that we did, I, I genuinely felt like I was going to have a nervous breakdown um, <laughs> because you have to push things out and you're like, who am I letting down? I'm letting, you know, you have all this weight and you don't want to let anybody down, not the artist, not the stock. But you, not but the you literally have no control. No. There's nothing you can do. No. And now no. I'm kind of like, you know, um, it may turn off. Who knows? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It'll get here. It'll happen when yeah. it's supposed to happen because the time I sp I'm, I'm going to put myself in an early grave if I keep stressing about it. Yeah. So yeah. it's just, yeah, the end of June, the beginning of July, mm -hmm. I personally think it's going to be more of the beginning of July only because we've had to do um, a few different color remixes. So the artists curate their own colors, meaning that they make their own colors. It's not like they go to bear and they say, oh, I have this color. This is what I want. We want them to actually get out acrylics or get out paints and customize their own colors so that there's nothing like it on the market. Wow. wow. Um, of course, wow. you know, there's going to be similar ones, but we didn't want it to be identical to anything. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
then we send their samples to manufacturing and then it's like a back and forth game until the color is just perfect for them. Yeah, and so, right. um, yeah, these, these colors, uh, they had to, they had to be perfect. <laughs> Yeah. So it took a little it's bit longer. longer than expected, but so the next the next line that you've got in in your lineup will by the time you come to the event we'll we'll be able to know all about it then. You got, we are going to announce the next artist on the tenth, tenth of June. Yeah, we come out on the and the event is on the twentieth. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna announce it, but we won't be able to get it till July, right? I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you won't be able to get it till July. But we're gonna, you know, our stockists will start taking pre-orders on the 10th mm -hmm. when we announce it. And um and it will be at uh the event. Oh so everyone at the event will be have the first they'll be the first ones to, to try it and paint with it. That'll be amazing. Can't wait. I'm really looking forward to that. I am too. We are too. Sorry, what did you say? We're just we're excited. <laughs> well, we we got you know between us. There's so we are coming to your event mm -hmm. in days counting, and I still haven't packed a suitcase. But we're coming to your <laughs> event on. I think where, where are we going? Okay, next Saturday. Next Saturday. Two weeks. Yeah, just over two weeks. So on the eighteenth of June. Yeah, Saturday the 18th of June. We, we're going to be there a couple of days early because I get okay. my jet bag. So yeah, I'm yeah. Time, if I can't get a hair appointment to sort out my greys, I'm not coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm back doing Natasha's greys there, so you could you could stop on by. Uh, all right, it looks I'm like we have the same color. <laughs> <laughs> or we could do what Jonathan Mark Mendez did. He um did Solly Joe's highlights with a paintbrush. There you go. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. brilliant. That was funny. So we're really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to trying your paint because I I won't I probably won't get a sample from Kate in time to try it before we go. Uh, well, oh, there'll be plenty there for you to play with. I mean, did you guys feel the same when you were asking people to come to the? Because I know you have Jonathan, you have um, Brandy, and you have Kristana coming mm -hmm. to the event. I, I'm, did you guys have the same experience? It was just like, well, we're just going to ask them and see what happens. Yeah. It's as Sarah. That's Sarah. Sarah's like, I'm going to ask. And she has asked everybody in the industry. And I'm like, you can't ask that person. I can. And well, I will. I think the, the thing was, is a couple of years ago, I did a paint um, interview series on my Facebook page. I called it Paint Talk with the Pros. And so I asked a bunch of people and I get, and we had like an hour long interview with all these amazing people. So I sort of had friends that were... I was already friends with them essentially and so then I just got back out of Brandy and I said do you want to come to to England and and spend the week she was like yep and I was like cool <laughs> and then so so yeah so I already knew them really before. yeah some, yeah but yeah but it shouldn't be any it shouldn't be a barrier should it to um asking they can what can they say they can say no you yeah, know, that's the worst um, that can happen that's right yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so exactly, exactly. I'm hoping. Yeah, I heard when Kate said she was going to get Chloe snickered so she could try and get her. I didn't say it. Chloe said it. I didn't oh. actually said it. She said, oh no, you're going to get me drunk and sign my oh. life away. <laughs> <laughs> well, she said, "I oh, would." Didn't she? Didn't she say, "I oh, would"? She said, "I oh, know Sarah's probably." Good. Yeah, what? Yeah, it was yeah. her that said it, not us. Yeah, yeah. It was. I don't know how she knew about our cunning plan, Sarah. Yeah, 100% going to get her drunk. <laughs> I thought it was a brilliant plan. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's bound to work. <laughs> it's hard to guess. It would work for me. You notice things when you're in paradise on the beach, right? Oh, yeah. sure. That sounds yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the, um, the, uh, um, the party on the is it on the Wednesday the beach party that that's when it is we'll have a, we'll have a we'll have a contract signed we'll go Chloe can I just get your autograph <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah she's got to be there she's she's got to be there it's such a shame we pressured her so much she's gonna have no choice really it's gonna be such a yeah shame. we keep nagging her all the time don't Absolutely we shamelessly annoyed her about it. <laughs> Oh, I really hope. I mean, we have to see her when we're there. So sure, sure. So you um, girls are going to come in a bit early, or are you staying after? What are you doing? And are you bringing your husbands with you, or not? Or haven't you? I, we have planned we nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> You've got time. September's away. I, I've yeah. never been. I do know that I don't travel the best, so I need a full day of sleeping. Yeah. 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 But or I just will not. Yeah. I'll be a robot. So yeah. I have yeah, to take no, that into There's no way you can fly in. Yeah, there's no way you no. can fly in and just rock off into the event. You've got to have a you got to have a rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to bring my husband. I think that'd be great. Yeah. So yeah, we need to start planning it. Yeah. <laughs> Brandy is bringing her husband. I think he's joining a couple of days later, and he's going to come to the be at the event, stay at the event as well. And then mm -hmm. they're doing a bit with Solly Joe. She's taking them to York and some places, and then they're mm -hmm. coming down to London, and I'm going to do a couple of days with them in London. So. Showing the sun. Paris after that, and, then going, and then they're going to Paris and home from Paris. I mean, what a trip! Well, crazy. That's what I was hoping for. I talked to my husband. I actually talked to Brandy about it, and I, and I was like, "Well, you know, we're going to be there. I'm going to bring Tom, my husband's Tom, and my major Tom." <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was like, "But we really like to go to Paris." And she was like, "Well, you can come hang out with us and cruise around with us." So I was like, "That's so thoughtful. Um, we just might. We just yeah. might." That but I want to make the most of it because I've we've been, never I've been. been, been to, to... I've been telling her. I've been telling her that where I live, because I live on the south west coast, you know, on the border of Cornwall almost, and it's absolutely beautiful here. So every time she says, I "Wonder," what, we were talking about where she could go while she was here. And I was like, you need to come. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to come down to where, where I live. The Plymouth, yeah. I mean, everybody always wants to do the London thing, don't they? Which isn't really, I mean, it's interesting, but. I, I want to see the countryside. That's what I yes. want to see too. I yes. want to see I the French countryside. I want to yeah. see a barn. Yeah. I want to see old barns and old houses. And that's what yeah. I love, old yeah. doors. <laughs> We were looking at we were looking at Airbnbs to have for the couple of days beforehand just to get ourselves ready and things and like for people to stay in and there was one that was a bit tired looking and what have you but it was a really old house and we we're like oh yeah we've got to get that one because the Americans oh, I love it. like that one yeah. <laughs> well, for the, some of the people that are coming over like you guys if you want to we've got enough room at the Airbnb for everybody to have you know just get some rest and before this and oh yeah we were talking to Brandy and Chris Donner about it. And I said it was really funny because Kate sent me two possibilities for the Airbnbs. Which one do you think? So one of them, it was a bit, it was a bit, it wasn't luxurious, put it that way. But it was a beautiful old building. It was falling down all, but really, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean, it was. Yeah, yeah. It's what yeah. I think Americans think <laughs> English houses should look like. You know, yeah. <laughs> it, was kind of, it was a little bit cheesy when it was all. It was all very Airbnb and very, you know. Yeah, well, matchy matchy, wasn't matchy, it? Matchy, yeah, matchy. I, I think we should take the old one and then when when we check out they'll be like Who, who's done all this stuff who's like, painted all this furniture <laughs> all our antiques <laughs> well i think it's funny because as americans when we i mean when we watch say Brit british shows i'm addicted to um like acorn uh that's we, where we get you know british television acorn, acorn oh right it's a channel okay yeah and i watch midsummer murders that's my favorite show in the entire world do you guys get Tony that? Tony likes that. Tony likes that. Yeah, Tony likes it. I love it. It's really old. Oh, but I, oh, really? I always oh. think, oh, they're getting ready really? to go arrest somebody. And, um, but they're like, hey, would you like to sit down and have some tea? And, and then I know you committed the murder and then we can, and then we can leave. And I was, it's just all so nice and lovely. And, and I'm like, I, I hope it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> well uh, it's on a channel here there's a channel here for older people and it's shown on there along with adverts for stair lifts and funeral plans so when, when tony's watching it, i'm like you're watching the dead chick people channel again like <laughs> move <laughs> that's so funny i yeah, love it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but actually i think they've got a new series out so it's not that old but the repeats are on this channel yeah but uh yeah, look, I mean, actually, what, when we've had friends over from like Canada and stuff, the thing they like really is you've got to go and find a really old pub, that type of thing, yeah. you know, old country pub, yeah, that type of thing, or like with Sarah, you know, Barbican yeah. in Plymouth or something. Yeah, we have. So, on, so in Plymouth, we've got the Mayflower step where the Mayflower ship left to go populate the states. <laughs> so, that's really, it's ancient. So, the, the, one of the streets that it's on, it's the oldest street in Plymouth. So it's like, and it's, I used to have a shop there and it was, um, in the summer, it's full of tourists because it's a really beautiful, um, 
the harbour, beautiful. And um, I used to say to my friend who used to work with me, if we could pick the cobbles up out of the floor, because it's really cobbled, really old fashioned cobbled lanes, mm. because about 20 times a day, American tourists would walk past and go, oh my God, look at these cobbles. And so I said, we should just start selling them. <laughs> <laughs> Dig them up. Start selling cobbles, we'd be rich, honestly. It was so funny. <laughs> It is beautiful, so you know you can understand why. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that would be. Yeah, so we'd have to find all those places. As if I take take people into London, we've got to try and find like really old pubs that have got about twenty layers of black paint on all the bits of furniture. You know what I mean? But it's, they're lovely. Love they're lovely. Yeah. Oh, that is that's cool. I would love to go fishing. So. Oh God, Tony, where is he? With my husband, Tony um, is a fisherman, so he can do, he fly fishes, carp fishes, does all types of fishing. He would love to take you fishing. <laughs> I, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world, besides painting. It's, it is my favorite thing in the world, so. Oh my God, he's going to be in love. <laughs> uh, that was just, what, that really excited just me. Just sit there, don't you? Like, what? What? <laughs> I don't get it. Don't just wait for a fish to come, I don't understand it. I don't oh, either. You know, it's like meditative for me, Sarah. So it's, in, and I don't really like, I don't do a lot of like river fishing or, or pond or, or lake, but ocean fishing. And oh, I think right. the most exciting thing is that when you're doing it, you have no idea what it's like that excitement of you just hooked something and you have no clue of what it is that's coming up. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's exciting. So that, that's that's what I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I was hungry, I might consider it. But I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. I don't do it for sport. That's another thing. Like, I'm not into like going marlin fishing, or I don't yeah. want to do it for sport. If I'm gonna hook a fish, it's because I want to eat it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's the best way. Well, yeah, that would be. Yeah, yeah. Although, yeah. Oh well, that we've got you sorted. We're gonna have to have like little side trips. So that I'll just go get fish and chips somewhere. That's, yeah. like, that's, that's the only fish I want. Yeah. You're famous for fish and chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you, yeah, there's good fish and chips and there's good fish and chips though. So it depends yeah. where you are and what have you. Well, at the event, are you planning to do a, a demo for us up on the stage or a workshop mm -hmm. for me joining in alongside or what's your plan? Yeah. So it's Chris Donna was right? What? Christana? Wasn't Christana going to help? All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Christana. That'd be good. Um, at the event, at the at your event, are we going to yeah. get up and do? Um, I'm. We can. My hope was that Chloe would take center stage. <laughs> we'll have to send this to Chloe after. I'll get the margaritas in. I'll get them. <laughs> My that was my hope um, was that Chloe would take center stage and and um, and use it. But the inter that well the very cool thing is that right we are going to be our other line will be coming out right about then as well. Ooh. So you could you could bring some with you. I can't even say anything, or I'm going to give out too much information. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't even know. I, trying to word it in a way that it's like oh they'll know right away if I say that so anyway my hope is that somehow we can do something with that <laughs> oh, that'll be so you can you can announce something at, at the event in September that would be so cool exclusive wouldn't it? At the event, that's yeah cool. something exclusive and if you actually had a, a just some of it there so people could see the colors and that's yeah that's what I want that's what I wanted to do mm -hmm. oh my god so, so what's your plans moving forward with your, your company are you going to be thinking about doing other products or are you happy what, what you're doing at the moment hmm I think we're gonna, for this, for now, we're just going to, uh, we'd like to find a wax. You know, we would definitely like to have some waxes and, and maybe some more brushes. Um, but who knows? Who knows what we'll dream up? <laughs> yeah, this is dream. it. Daydream. That's cool. Yeah. We, yeah. Have, we, we do have a couple of things in the works. I mean, the thing is, is that it's with... Um, you know, we were forced to kind of go and, and make sure, look for things when the raw material shortages hit uh, about eight months ago, six months ago, Becca, we, mm -hmm. we, we 
got put on a timeline that was a little bit longer than what we had hoped for. So mm -hmm. we had we were forced to go out and look at other manufacturers and, and try to find somebody who we could have as a backup if we needed to. Um, and uh, we ended up finding a company. Um, I'm not saying that they're going to make our, our chalk and clay formula, but we um, they are a very, very reputable uh, art paint company. And Becca and I actually went there and, and we went to their factory and we met them and we worked with them and, and we painted with them to show them kind of what we were wanting to create with, with other new exciting <sighs> products. Um, and so we will be coming out with some things. It's just, you know, I, we, we're trying to like keep our heads, you know, above water with, when we're coming out with all these different lines every couple of months, it feels like unbelievable, unbelievable. So, how long have you been going? When when was when did the first range come out? July. Oh my god! I'm it's just, not even a year old. You had to run out and close the door. We'd already gone through all that. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, it wasn't my 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 internet broke. I don't know. What happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. So I think that. Um, yeah, we, we, there's other things, we, but we really want to stay in, we want to stay with yeah. paint. That's not to say we won't get into, uh, wax has been, if anybody's watching who's a wax, wax manufacturer, please contact <laughs> us. Thank you so much. It has been the hardest thing for us to find a company to make the wax that we that we want. Um, mm -hmm. We haven't found it yet, which is why we haven't come out with it. Um, so, yeah. And I love wax. Wax is where I live. I I paint over wet, I have been doing that for years, painting over wet wax and mixing wax with my paints and, wow. and all sorts of things. All the I, things I, I tell people they can't do. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I, things, I yes. always break the rules, always. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I think you should be, able, you should paint the rules as long as you know what the result's going to be and you're not going to mm -hmm. be disappointed. I think that's, that's exactly what we all should be doing. Experimenting. Yeah. yeah. Because well, that's, how you, that's how you get better. Like, Yes. And you come out with a, a, a finish that you haven't seen before or another way to create age or, and it's like, oh, and then, you know, when you, when you've played with that long enough and, and you realize, like you said, that it, it stands the test of time. I mean, it's one thing if you're just creating your own things and you're selling them, you have to know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, um, that the paint isn't going to fall off or something. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah. Did, did, did we ask you how you come up with the name? Oh, oh! That took us a very long time. We we had so many ideas. So Natasha and I are both born like a few days apart. So we're both Pisces. We both are the same I'm age. A Yay! <laughs> uh, we're the same age. So there's and we have there's just a lot of like coincidences, you know, that we had. So we tried to kind of like play off of that without being too like hokey or whatever. Um, I don't know. I think I was looking at a catalog or something and I went, oh my gosh, daydream. Like we need to do something with daydream. And then we had then listed, we had listed all these names and, and then just words that we were trying to go back and forth. But like Becca said, have it play off of, and we're like, well, we can't be, call it like Pisces paint. That was weird. And, <laughs> <Why not? laughs> and <laughs> we weren't feeling it. <laughs> And so I think it's when you said you had that don't quit your daydream. Was that it? That's right. It was a sign that I saw that said, don't quit your daydream. And I went, oh, my gosh, daydream. I'm like, there's so many ways to play off of that. And then and then we're like, well, how are, you know, what do we go from there? And then the apothecary, because at the time we wanted to mix our own paint. So at the right. time it actually went with what we were doing. Yeah. So that's where we went with apothecary. Mixology or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 But so, but now we love it. I mean, I love our name because I, I feel like there's just so many ways to play off of it. You know, yeah. so many taglines. And but it did. Always, I did always wonder where it came from. But, but now that you've said exact, that it totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very and cool. then in the logo, when we were trying, I have to be honest. That was finding our manufacturer was the easiest part because we knew what paints we liked and that were manufactured in the U.S. and so we just contacted that manufacturer <laughs> said, this is what we want. Um, we know that you're capable of doing this. We're, we know you could probably do this. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but the logo, the the name, I, I mean, that's the branding part. It's you have to nail that. Mm-hmm. And and that took a long time, I think, you know, because it's funny. We had a um, an illustrator do our logo and we we went through so many things. We actually hired a woman to do the the marketing and the branding for us and she we had this meeting zoom meeting with her and she's like you know i think if you have these little um baby food jars and she wasn't was getting our vision and Becca and I were <laughs> yeah like, i was like what's the question what to say then <laughs> we were like we're out <laughs> like, yeah that is not you didn't listen to a word we said it was um, like clip art clip art from like the early 2000s <laughs> Oh my God, remember clip art. But that's the problem, isn't it, with business? Is that it's not just the great idea or you're you're prepared to work hard or your enthusiasm or whatever. You've got all the other stuff that goes with it, which is kind of one of the things that we try and cover at the conference is we're trying to help them with their social media and some business stuff and marketing because you can be the most talented um, furniture painter in the world, but you've still got to do all that other shit, really. So constantly. You, mm-hmm. you do. I, if, Full disclosure, we when we started this, we were like, okay, Tasha, I'll do social media. I'll work with a stockist. And, you know, I, I deal with business development. So with the manufacturers and Becca's going to do logistics. And we were like, yeah, that sounds awesome. Um, and then we did our first shipment and we had the uh, first ship of Nians go out and I went to Baldwinsville and we shipped them with our families. We had it all together. We thought we had all of our T's crossed and our I's dotted and we lost about 87% of our product in damage. What? What? How did that mm-hmm. happen? Uh, shipping damage just our we didn't I don't think our boxes were the right weight we didn't I mean we thought that we had packaged them really really well um but it just I I, almost almost every order was was damaged and Becca and I were like oh my gosh we were so naive and thinking that we could do this and uh um, but it was a learning lesson like at that at that point I mean and it cost us dearly <laughs> but at that point we wanted we were kind of like oh my gosh this at, I think that's the point where people give up you know they're like don't you yeah. feel like that Beck? Yeah yeah I was pretty close to that yeah <laughs> I'm not yeah. surprised I'm not it, surprised it, 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 was it, was, a, was, it was very 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 depressing <laughs> yeah it, it was but the stockists were amazing um we just told them to keep the damaged product because we didn't even know like what you know we we were so over our heads at that point and um just shipped them out all new product but we very soon decided after that that we needed to have a distribution center for it that that wasn't something that we were capable of handling and trying to build this business so and we didn't like eat we did it we didn't do it small but we did it i would say like medium because we went after a manufacturer we tried to kind of you know the packaging and everything for like a month and then once that all went wrong really quickly then we jumped pretty quickly to a distribution center i i think you just have to know where your strengths and weaknesses well, are and, and also absolutely. shipping shipping from new york is is quite a bit more expensive than shipping from kansas so i mean th- even things like that i didn't really consider like international unbelievably expensive to come from new york so you know there's just things like that that i just i just didn't know just naive you know Mm, just like oh i I ship things all the time i can do this you know and i was surprised that the the brand was over here so soon and and europe just because the smaller brands tend not to come overseas just because of the the entire yeah, I, I didn't want to, honestly. I didn't want to because of that, especially because I was doing the logistics. I was like, this is way over my head going international. Um, but Natasha pushed for it. So, and Jessica's great at it. Our logistics, she's she's great at it. So you have to you have to get help, don't you, with the things you can't do. Basically, you can't do you it all. You wear so many hats. Hello. I mean, even as a furniture artist, you think about 
you're painting furniture, you're, you're picking it up, you're a furniture mover, you're a furniture painter, then you have to create posts, you have to get yourself on, I mean, you have to do your taxes, you, you're wearing a thousand hats. And it's the same thing, just on a different scale with a paint company. And so, yeah, there's, I, but it's all kind of a journey, you know, we're learning things that even with those huge mistakes, I mean, we would have never have known that before. So you can take it as a blessing or a curse. <laughs> We just take it as a blessing, yeah, a very frustrating one, but a blessing nonetheless. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Llewellyn said, I, if it went well, I'd still be shipping boxes. So I look at it that way. <laughs> and I really didn't like it. <laughs> it's yeah, backbreaking. It's, it's exhausting. It's a few because a lot of the, a lot of, I mean, for instance, um, DIY paint. <clears throat> I mean, I know about it because I've followed Debbie forever and ever. I've, you know, watched her on YouTube for years. Mm -hmm. but I know lots of people in the UK don't even know that brand. Be just yeah, no, they don't do international. They don't mm -hmm. do it much though. So, which is, you know, surprising because like she's established enough. You think you know maybe for a well i i believe that hers is drop shipped from the manufacturer so that's probably the manufacturer's decision oh, right. right yeah i i would assume yeah. you know it's, it's not shipping. her own logistics issues of international shipping which a lot of the small brands which is why i think it's amazing that you've done it because lots of small, so fast. yeah they just don't want to don't want to get involved with that it's, it's, yeah it's a lot i mean it is but there's a whole market out there that um that wants it Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? sure. They want <laughs> options, so if no one else is doing it, then maybe we should. Yeah, yeah. As, and part of the reason behind it, like the the actual motivating factor to get it overseas, was um, there is a huge amount of people in the United States that are still very much um, neutral farmhouse. Aston, you can go, honey. And we are, yeah. we are. I mean, of course you know, we love neutrals too. But, I mean, Becca loves farmhouse where I'm more pop art and, and graffiti and loud. loud well, I don't want to say, I'm more like old world. Like I do love neutrals though, but farm, not typical like white farmhouse, but I like, right. you know, yeah. old world, like French country, I would say. Yeah. But so in the United States, um, we knew that, you know, if we got our paint overseas and people saw the colors, they were going to be more apt. I thought they were going to be more attracted to it. Yeah. yeah. And I think it adds something, doesn't it? Having um, that mix of different styles and mm -hmm. um, different <clears throat> looks rather than a paint just be about one style, actually. So, yeah, I think that's interesting. Yeah. So oh, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll can't wait to get my hands on them. I can't wait to try them. Because uh, yeah, I can't wait for you to try it either, Sarah. Yeah. We hope you like. I mean, it is it is a little learn. It's a learning curve, just like anything else. I can remember when they. Um, so when I sold my business, <laughs> I had purchased a bunch of Annie Sloan paint to take with me, while I still had my wholesale account, but right before the business transferred, and and because I didn't want to paint retail. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then when Annie Sloan switched from the America version that we were used to using to the international version, and I this is a couple of years later, and I kind of run through some colors, and I went out and got more, and I was in my garage, like you know, painting, and I'm sitting there, and I cursed Annie Sloan up and down, boom, boom. Uh, here I am. I've been using this paint for what ten years, um, and I couldn't. It was so much thicker than the formula that I had. It, I've been accustomed to and then two weeks later i'm like i, I freaking love this piece <laughs> but it took, oh that's so funny you know it took me two weeks to kind of you know yeah. play with it and yeah. and work it out when you're so accustomed to one thing you know it just takes a little bit of time but yeah. it's just like anything the more you work with it the more you play with it the better you get yeah mm -hmm. um, one, of the, one of the things that the, uh, one of the b biggest parts of the feedback we got from last year's event was that most of the, all, nearly everybody there is a professional furniture painter, whether they've got a bricks and mortar or an online business. Um, but like all of us, once they find a brand that they like or that, that um, you know, that they can rely on to do the commissions and whatever else and all their, their jobs, um, they usually stick to it. So they might know about other brands, they might try a different top coat occasionally, but as a rule, especially with paint, they probably only stick to the one or maybe two. Yeah. 
the biggest part of the feedback we had last year was that was trying the other brands. They know the, these other brands they've seen around, you know, but um, that was taking them out of their comfort zone. They, you know, that was um, one of the big feedback we got. About. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that's amazing. Mm. I, I, I do because it's, you know, it, it's one thing, I, and I truly believe this. There, it's one thing to flip a piece of furniture. And it's amazing. It's awesome what we had talked about before, you know, women empowerment, them having, you know, extra money and being creative. I think it's amazing. It's a whole other ball game when you're trying to create art on a piece of furniture. And so to me, it's like nothing's off limits. I'm going to use all the brands um, mm -hmm. because I'm going to be able to find things that work and don't work. And, and it's part of the journey. It's, it's the love of the journey. And the and and the unknown that yeah. I think moves me so much, and mm -hmm. I and I hope that other artists are out there, you know, trying to push the boundaries too. Because I mean, let's face it: if we look at the movies or the commercials, I mean, the '80s are coming back with a vengeance. <laughs> oh, don't say that! I'm not going to get my leg warmers out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to be wearing shoulder pads either. But oh, I don't know. That might be quite good. <laughs> Um, but I think, you know, with people really pushing the, the great gardens, you know, their, their, their pop, their graffiti pop and their artwork on furniture. I hope that, you know, that my point is there's a place for everything. There's a place for there's one colored finishes. There's a place for yeah. old world, you know, Maja Kamasa. She does such beautiful old world work. Um, and then you have, you know, people, you know, the great gardens doing pop art and Nissa with her layering and her neons and highlighting and the way she does that. And, and Llewellyn with her landscapes. I mean, I think, you know, it, it, we shouldn't, we shouldn't limit ourselves to anything. I think it should all, it all holds value. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. And you never, and you never stop learning or you shouldn't do what we do, be creative. You've got to keep creating, keep, keep learning you know otherwise you'll just stagnate and you'll end up hating what you do so it's got to be fun yeah well and I think the other thing too you know we've had a lot of people tell us and I, and I thought it was really interesting because people tell us well when I go on Daydream's page I see all of these amazing artists and, and it's intimidating oh <laughs> and and we thought well hey we get it like you know I I think I'm a I think I'm a great furniture artist. I, I don't have any qualms. That, I'm no Becca doesn't either, but we see what people create. But the point is not to let it intimidate you. It's the point is to get it to motivate you to try something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for you sure. Know? So I'm, I do canvas work and this inspired me. I want to try and paint canvas. Am I going to be great at it? Uh, it's going to take me a while. Hopefully I will. I don't know. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it anyway. My daughter is an artist. So she does canvas art for, um, and I've been showing her New Ellen's stuff because she, she'll do that on a canvas, but she's never done it on a, we did, we've done a couple of pieces of furniture. I don't actually know, we can't see it. It's, it's back there. So she's done a couple of pop art, like that monkey one. And, you know, she's done a, she's done a few with me. But I've shown her, and she was like, "I can do that," and I'm like, "Do it then." <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a nice crossover, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I think it is, and who I mean, trends and fads and everything. I think will you know change, but let's. I just want to. I want to do everything. Like Becca said, I want to try it all. I'm. I. I just keep pushing myself to to try different things. It's it's more fun that way. I like fun. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I must admit, I can see the intimidation. Um, I feel slightly intimidated coming over to your event. And um, I mean, that, you know, the, being a bit more loose with the paint and what have you. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about it or anything, but it is a bit like, oh, my stuff's going to look really shit compared to everybody else's, you know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I, mine will be the one with the blanket in the corner of the room, covering it over. <laughs> People asked us if we were going to be painting at the event and Becca and I are like, well, we're going to be helping. But I think I have like, I I get I completely understand. I, we're going to be there learning like everybody else. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So yeah. and I think that and everybody, even the artists, you know, the artists say. The, I think they're just so cool in their own skin, and the environment 
that we've created that they have helped us create is one of complete support and uplifting. So even like in our content artist group, um, you know, it's not like they're in competition with each other. They're just like, that's amazing. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Or completely cheering each other on, supporting yeah. each other. And yeah, there's, you know, there's no egos, honestly. I, I mean, and that was important to me, Natasha, because we all put our pants on the same way. Nobody's better than anybody else. And um, I, that's what I love about all the artists. Like, they're all just happy to be with us and we're happy to have them. And, and nobody needs to shine more than the other and, you know, et cetera. So oh um, it's, it's nice. She can't wait. 14 days, she can't wait, she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, better start packing. <laughs> I haven't even started packing. <laughs> no, I might start making a pile in the corner of the room. <laughs> I am like, so I am super low key and low maintenance. I honestly, I have, I only own four pairs of shoes. <gasps> and I think two of them are Converse and one of them is a pair of like reef flip flops. So um, whenever we wow. travel, Becca and I, I'm, and I've, I've, it's unfortunate because I depend on her now for like good shampoo and stuff. She's like, oh, I know um, she, she's bringing all her stuff. <laughs> she's got the shoes. <laughs> yeah. So I just have my carry on with like my couple uh, different outfits. But I, I don't know if you've heard this. But I don't even know where I read it or heard it or where it was from. But it was about people with, you know, and, and not that I have a high IQ. I'm not, I don't, I wouldn't even know what, what that would begin to look like. But um people who are very successful um, have taken their wardrobe down to like the same thing. So like they wear the same white t-shirt every day. That way they don't have to decide what they're going to wear. Mm, yeah. And so they go into their closet and then it opens up room for them to do other things. Now, I'm not yeah, quite I'm that, fine. I'm not quite that far into it yes. or anything like that, but I do have like, a, like my husband's closet is three times the size of mine. <laughs> and so sad. I just am very minimalistic when it comes to that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, I can go for two weeks with a backpack full of stuff. <laughs> I love fashion. Love fashion. I love makeup. I love skincare. I am so girly. I'm all girl. I love it. <laughs> You're so different then from each other. I love it. That's great. <laughs> I like I love all that when we when you share rooms with people. We, we, this is one of the things that we were encouraging people to do at the conference last year, and um, was to share rooms. Well, basically, because we didn't have enough rooms, or we were trying to get them. But we did that on our first conference, and that's it's a really shortcut way to friendship. Yes. And it is very handy if they do your makeup and hair for you, like Sarah did for me on one occasion. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's great fun. Yeah, it is. That, it, it is a quick way to make friends. That's for sure. Yeah. True. Uh -huh. It is. That's that's what I hope with the master classes that just, you know, we're not, I mean, it's all about paint. It's just a deep dive into, you know, mm -hmm. painting really. Um, and then, you know, a little bit of bonding time on the beach and then the event. But um, we, Becca and I were invited to talk about business at uh, Kara, Kara Lockwood from Kara's Color Me Creative. She had an event about a month ago, Becca. Yeah. Which by the way, and I still have not unpacked from. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. I'm the worst. Oh, and she invited us to come out there. And it was, I think, 25 women. Um, so beautiful. Just, I mean, the energy, the, you saw people talking to each other, meeting people you've never met and, mm. and the bonding and the companionship. And it, it was really, it was really lovely. And so right. I hope that we have a similar experience to that. Yeah. I we think really that's, enjoyed one that. biggest, that's one of the biggest things that we keep we keep talking about to all the people in our group. Um, you just can't even explain how fired up you are when you come when you go to any of those sort of events. When you come, you know, you're just raring to go, inspired mm -hmm. um, and exhausted, but still raring to go and change. You know, to make some yeah. implement changes into your business, and you. You know, you think, how can you explain that all of those things happen just off the back of an event? But it, yeah, it's it? true. It's true. It's yeah, so true. Well, yeah, you know, my husband would. Sorry. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. The interpersonal communication part, you know, because we're all online so much, mm -hmm. seeing people, da, da da da, but being able to like talk to them and hug. I'm a hugger. 
uh, you know, but hug them, talk to them, get their vibe, their feel. And, and I feel like that's infectious and you feed off of like our love for what we do. And it's, I think it's magical. <laughs> yeah. 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 We literally don't stop talking paint for 24 hours a day, you know, so it's, it's and, and who else would put up with that, you know, apart from other paint people. And, um, yeah, that's what was really lovely watching last September when everyone got together at the first conference was the, the, the laughter and the tears, the tears and the laughter. Do you know what I mean? Like, unbelievable, unbelievable. And the friendships that were made, the little gangs that got together afterwards and have yeah. group chats going on where they all support each other. Yeah, Kate, Kate looks Kate likes to cry, don't you, Kate? She's what did you say? I'm a cry. Oh, I said, yeah, Kate I likes to cry. I don't oh. know, Natasha. I'm not a crier. No. I, I am forget so about it. I can't even, like, if somebody says something sentimental, I'm like, <laughs> like immediately. I can't even well, hold it in. Well, we got a standing ovation at the end of the conference. I mean, who wouldn't cry at that, apart from Sarah, that half bitch? Probably me. Had. I would. Have. It, was, it was amazing. I am stoic, man. She was like, oh, that's, just, "That's just so amazing." I said, oh, no, no. "She was like, what? What did you say to me? Oh, you're such a hard cow." Oh, I just said, "Next time, just punch me in the face." <laughs> I could just see her cringing looking at me. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. I just feel the urge to, to have water spring out my eyes is all. I thought it was lovely. I would, and I really appreciated it. Do you know, it was really heartfelt. It was good. It was lovely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah was. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got so much to look forward to, haven't we? You guys sound very much like Becca and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're quite different from each other. It's quite funny. <laughs> Funny how it works though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It balances it out. It yeah. does. Yeah, it does. I think if you we if you were two alike, you just wouldn't um get anything done because you're good at the same things and you know, rubbish at the same things and what have you. So we sort of work it out between us or find someone. But yeah, it's like the it's like the yin, yin and the yang, you know. And if somebody's not doing what they're supposed to do, I'm kind of like, oh, you know, I just, I just feel for them or they have a lot going on and, you know, and Becca's like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah's always, I'm, I'm a bit like whinging about people all the time and Sarah's very like, well, that, that person's just trying to earn a living and feed their children. She's very matter of fact about things and I'm a bit more. <laughs> That's Becca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straightforward. She put, put, Not put, a lot of put me in my place. Like, Natasha feels more <laughs> yeah i do I you know do. what i even say to my children because like, i think it's a you know like it, the little trends that go on and they when they're talking they say feel all the time so they go um i feel like i might go out tomorrow and i'm like no you think you might go out tomorrow you can't feel honestly it drives me insane i'm like <laughs> less feeling more thinking please <laughs> all the time it's so funny oh that's mean it's not mean <laughs> it's oh i love it when somebody's like too. starts to open up to me i'm like oh, oh yes please let's talk about feelings <laughs> Beck is like <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll put you two in the corner <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about our feelings <laughs> It's going to be great. <laughs> that's what's good. That's what's good about it, isn't it? It's the mix. But it, we've got so much to look forward to, haven't we? This year, you know, we've got to, you know, it's a difficult time to be encouraging people to, you know, get out of their comfort zone and spend some money and come and join us. But honestly, you know, um, it's worth every penny. You've got to invest in yourself and your business, otherwise, and keep the joy going. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's just gonna your, your business is gonna die. Mm. Yeah, well, it just it just sucks the life things, out of you. Yeah, and if those sort and, of things are a challenge, that you know, we the very first one we went on to, it was it was, <coughs> overseas, it was overseas, and it was very it was a you know it was an expensive trip. It was quite expensive. Yeah, and you know, I didn't have that money just sat in a pot somewhere for me to do that. I I took it out of my business, and I thought, right, d doesn't matter what comes at the end of this event, I'm going to make sure that that's put back in because I'm going to learn something or I'm going to find some inspiration somewhere and I did and yep. I remember telling my group of people um, that I made that money back like three times over within two months of being back mm -hmm. it was nuts absolutely nuts 
Yeah. Well, well yeah. you do have to spend money to make money. You just do, you know, and you have to yeah. invest in yourself. If, if, if you're a different type of field, like say you were, I mean, I don't know, like a teacher or something, you have to go to the course. Like, again, I guess they pay for it, but you know, you have to go to teacher conferences. You, there's things that you're always doing. My husband does mortgages. He goes to mortgage conferences, um, you know, to get better, to learn. Yeah. And it's all, you know, it's the same thing. I mean, it, it really is. You know, we, we are, this isn't a hobby. This is a business. And uh, if it is a hobby, that's fine too. But yeah. um, you have to spend the money to, to get better at your craft, for right. sure. And we, were, we, were saying to the, we were saying to the people in our group, the price of our event for the entire weekend, all meals, the entire conference, meeting all of those amazing people, all the amazing brands, it's, it's, it's essentially the price of one piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it well, that's right. furniture, get it exactly. sold, get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone called Missy So has just commented, I wish I could see these artists. You need to make one in Europe with all of them. Well, I think the UK is in Europe, Missy. So if you want to come, <laughs> we still got tickets in September. So, yeah, I mean, maybe not all of the Daydream team, just quite a bit of it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So we've kept you for absolutely ages. Look at the time. I think we better let you go. It's all right for us because it's a bank holiday here in the UK. And so we're off. Well, when you say we're off tomorrow, I mean, it never stops really with your own business, does it? But mm -hmm. um, but for you, what time is it with you? 3.41. Yeah. Okay. So you've got a couple, you, you can get a couple of hours more work in. <laughs> I have a class tonight, so... I'll be working for a, a while. It's a busy day. So is that an online class or in person? No, I have a store, actually. Um, I'm sitting in it right now. So uh, we do craft classes and stuff. So Cool, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. love See, we'd, we'd love to hear some ideas about that. Maybe that's something you can help our, our girls with when you come in September. Is sure. I did. You know, it's all, is this, there's so much that we can learn from each other. You know, yeah. everybody's got their, their, their stuff, haven't they? So that's, that's we're really good. excited for that. But thank you for all your time. Yeah, I really um, appreciate it. Oh, I could just keep us. talking to you all night. I might go and open a bottle of wine and <laughs> sit back with some snacks and just keep talking to you all night long. Go get my pajamas on. Take my well, bra. Florida's on. just in a couple of weeks. I'm okay. in. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. This is oh, so no, nice. Okay. And it's just, it's, it's, it's such a good way to, I, I love that people are connecting and in, in you know, all the, all, with all the different paint companies that you're going to have there. Yeah. I just, I think it's, I think it's going to be a magical experience. So we can't wait. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of it. Oh, oh, you're very welcome. We want you. We wanted you. So no, it's yeah. going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. Cool. So okay, anyway. we'll see you guys in a few weeks, I guess. Right. Yeah, two weeks we'll time. Yeah. Thank awesome. you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Bye.